What's going on gang? Welcome back into Lights Out Gaming. For those of you that are new here, my name is Mike and what you are watching on screen today is a series that I started just two weeks ago when I showed off my armory and I asked you, what guns would you like covered? And we're calling it Lights Out Gun Reviews. What I do in this series is I go through guns that have been requested by subscribers of the channel and cover the guns that they'd like to be covered most. What I mean by covered is I go through the guns and let you know what are the best attachments to use, how the gun actually works, and the best ways to actually use it in game. This week I'm going to be covering the gun on the screen right now, the Ameli Whalehorn. It is an elite variant, and I was asked by one of the subscribers, Kerry Wilson, to cover this gun. So if you'd like to see your gun covered in a future episode, do me a favor, leave a comment in the comment section below. The gun with the most likes on this video we'll get the next gun review. Arturo Hernandez and CJ Hall have requested for the SN6 in previous videos, so I'm gonna try and get that one up for them next week. But the week after that, I am going to go with the one that has the most likes on it. So if you do feel like you want a gun reviewed and I have it in my armory, go ahead and request it and we'll see which one gets the most likes. Now let's get into the gun. So the whale horn is a minus two in damage, a minus one in accuracy, and a plus two in handling. Alright, so what this means is that the damage is decreased and it's something that you definitely will notice when using the gun, which is, again, this is another gun that I'm not a huge fan of because it's taking away one of the things that the melee excels at because your mobility is never so good. And the handling, we've already talked about this, this will actually decrease hip fire spread, but how often are you really going to hip fire with an LMG? Not very often. Now, I am a more uh rush player than most so that's why i almost never use light machine guns but when using this gun i was like all right let me try and post up with it because you would think a light machine gun would do better posting up it doesn't do that because it doesn't have the damage to hold up for it so what you have to use is you have to use the benefit that the gun comes with 150 bullets in each magazine that is a lot that's one of my favorite things about the gun. So you're going to see in this gameplay that I use it to spray down areas. Even if I'm unsure if there's an enemy there, I might spray down just because I have the bullets to, you know, to work with. The backup magazine is only 50, so you're kind of tough there. But either way, 150 bullets, you're not going to have to reload basically ever. So the, way, the best way to use this gun is to create kind of a moving class, like where you're moving around a little bit more because the damage... And the accuracy, the accuracy you won't notice so much. That one, I didn't even need a red dot on this, honestly. I tried it out with the red dot, wasn't a huge fan, so what did I do? I tried posting up with it, it just was not, not very, it, was, it wasn't very good at all. And if you're going to do it far away, you're going to need a stock. And if you're rushing, you're going to need a stock. So you're able to move your body while aiming down sights faster. So, the first attachment we're going to throw on there is a stock. That's 100% necessary, I can tell you from when I was using this gun, that basically using it without a stock, it was difficult to maintain, you know, a 1, 1 1.2 KD. But when I threw the stock on, I was able to have some good gameplays. The next one, let's help out that, that negative, you know, accuracy, and let's throw a grip on there, because that's the, that one makes more sense than anything else, because obviously the gun doesn't need a sight. The irons are beautiful. It's not that. You just want to decrease the little, that, you know, the amount that those iron sights move. So by throwing the grip on there, it does that. Other attachments available on the gun, laser sight, not going to need that because again, how often are we really hip firing with an LMG? I do know that Drifter made a video on this gun and he said that it's a fun hip firing class, but that's not something I would recommend. The tracker, that's not useful on almost any gun. We don't want to put a suppressor on because the damage is already bad enough. Parabolic microphone, again, something we're not going to use in many classes. The advanced rifling, I could understand that could be something you'd swap out with grip if you do not need it, but I don't feel like it's really necessary for what we're using this gun for. We're using it to, with a little bit of rushing, which is why the next attachment will be the quick draw grip. If we want to pimp out this gun, if we want to throw on all the attachments, we're going to have the stock, the foregrip, and the quick draw grip. Why? It's because it's going to allow us to be mobile with the gun. What I'm going to do is throw up on the screen right now the class that I kind of built with this gun that I was having the most success with. As you can see, uh, it's going to have lightweight on it. We're going to be moving around the map a bit. When we're not firing the gun, we don't want the enemies to know where we're at, so we're going to use low profile. We also want to stay off the map when those pesky, 
pesky thermal, you know, thermal detection UAVs are up. We don't want to be on the radar for those. That's why you'll see me use low profile on almost every single class. Now, in the second slot, this is something that you can swap out. This is more a preference thing, but I just prefer to keep blind eye on just because I'm not... I'm not very happy when I'm getting shot down by, you know, helicopters and things like that. So I almost always throw on blind eye as well. And then in perk three, we're going to throw on blast suppressor, the most necessary perk in this game. I, I would like to have toughness on this class because it does take a while to kill your target, but I just didn't have a spot for it. I suppose that, I mean, you could take out low profile for it, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then the score streaks, that's, that's up to you in any class that I do. It's going to be up to you. But I always leave the three in there because most people do like to run the three score streaks. If you do take off two of the score streaks, you could throw on toughness and then there you go. But I hope you enjoyed the review of this gun. If I were to give my overall review of this one, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. The damage is just too low for it to be considered something elite to me. It just doesn't... Uh, again, it, <laughs> this is another one where it just doesn't really excel in anything. The Ameli is usually a great gun when it comes to... You know, the three kill, the three shot kill range, even four shot. And the damage decrease in this just isn't worth it to get the extra 50 bullets in your magazine and more hip fire. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I definitely look forward to seeing which gun gets the most likes for the episode that's going to be covered in two weeks. And I look forward to seeing you guys back then. Don't forget to like the video if you didn't already. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you next time, guys. Lights out.